okay so let's solve this example uh, 23.1 and this is the same example that uh, have been solved in uh, chapter 4.4 4. uh, chapter 4 the example 4.4 and we can see here uh, these are the percentage true error values that have been obtained from forward backward and center difference approach and let's start it okay so what is x x is actually uh, 0 0.5 and the interval given is 0 0.25 h is 0 0.25 so what will be x i plus 1 it will be 0 0.75 uh, okay we go we go this way for example what will be uh, x is here so 0 0.5 and then x i plus 1 is just add interval into it it will be 0 0.75 and x i plus 2 it will be 0 0.25 and then we can have x i minus 1 so it will be 0 0.25 and then x i minus 2 it will be 0 okay let me put here x i Okay, so now we can find out the function values. For example, how much will be f x i minus two? Okay, let me write them here. This will be x i minus one. This will be x i, and this will be x i plus one. And this will be x i plus 2 okay so here let me write the expression for that this is minus 0 0.1 multiplied by uh, x raised to the power 4 minus 0 0.15 multiplied by x raised to the power 3 minus 0 0.5 multiplied by x raised to the power 2 minus 0 0.25 multiplied by x and then plus 1.2 okay so the value is 1.2 the same thing we can do for the other ones so this will be control v so these are the values that we have uh, obtained I'm not sure if I have done some mistake here it seems correct till this point uh, yeah, here it should be 1 because uh, we should add interval I, I forgot to change the value so if I put take it 1 it will be 0 0.2 okay so now let's solve by the uh, different equations given in chapter 23 and here we have the chapter 23 and we have different equations for example this is the backward difference this is the forward difference so let's use the first derivative we, we actually need the first derivative by uh, forward divided or forward difference approach okay so what will be the first derivative f dash x it will be xi will be it will be equal to for example just see this equation minus fx i plus 2 this one plus 4 multiplied by fx i plus 1 this minus 3 into fx i divided by 2 multiplied by h which is 0.25 you can put it here right straight away and you can find the first derivative and I want to make sure that I did not do any mistake this is a uh, minus uh, okay this is minus in 9 plus 4 into fxi plus 1 uh, e8 and then minus 3 into uh, into e7 which is xi divided by 2h 
so I should put here a very bracket sign so that okay so this is the value and you can also calculate the true error for the true error percentage true error the true value is given in the question and the true value of the derivative is minus 0 0.9125 this value okay the true error is say minus 0 0.9125 minus this value divided by true value into 100 okay so this is 5.82 percent now we can find the uh, the derivative using the backward and central difference approach for example if we use the backward difference approach backward difference approach the first derivative okay let's put it here and let's go to the expression for the backward difference this is 3 okay so <laughs> 3 multiplied by fxi this is fxi uh, minus 4 into fxi minus 1 okay this one plus fxi minus 2 this one divided by 2h 2 into 0 0.25 so we have this value again we can calculate the true error by the same expression here Control C and Control V here. So this is 3.76 percent. Now, if we talk about the central difference approach, so using the central difference approach, so what would be the first derivative? The first derivative will be. Uh, yeah, we can see it from here. This is the figure 23.3 for the central difference approach. So this is minus, this is equal to minus fxi plus 2, this one, plus 8 multiplied by fxi plus 1, minus. 8 multiplied by fxi minus 1 plus this one divided by 2 into h uh, so divided by 12 into h okay so if I enter so this is the value and if we calculate the true percent error so it's gonna be be very very small and it's like almost zero for example but just uh, convert this into like real uh, form so the other general type of number general okay so it's about zero and if we convert into the percentage you can see it's like up to four digits or even more it's like very very less error so this is how you can solve uh, and, and in that case for example if we use the central difference approach so we don't need even to go for the calculation of error for this particular problem so we can have the estimate which is very close to the true true value so there is another approach that is used in order to find out the accurate derivative and that approach is Richardson extrapolation. What is this Richardson extrapolation? This is uh, similar to uh, these approaches that we have just studied, but the only difference is that in, in Richardson approach, for example, you can see here, uh, this is the derivative, the accurate derivative. This is DH1, the derivative using approximate expression for central difference approach 
with interval h1 and where this interval is h2 so what is the difference between interval h1 and interval h2 the interval h1 is the normal interval given in the in the question and interval h2 is the interval which is reduced by half so for example the same example that we have uh, solved here this example i'm gonna make it uh, like solve for the for the other one so for example i want to solve this example for richardson extrapolation this is pretty similar like as we have done before the only difference is that we will use the central difference approach with the less accurate expressions first with interval h1 and then with interval h2 for example this is the example let's see what's that we have uh, the same example is there we are, we're going to solve that example with this is the xi and then h1 is the interval 0 0.5 h2 is the reduced interval 0 0.25 and now we use the uh, uh, we use the for example uh, richardson approach so first we calculate in richardson approach so let's calculate the first derivative using central difference approach this expression the ex approximate one okay this is say h1 this is h2 in fact and h1 is uh, 0 0.5 okay uh, yeah 0 0.5 xi is again uh, 0 0.5 so how we can find for example let's solve this first with uh, forward difference approach we need xi plus 1 and x i minus 1 so let's say for interval for let's solve this question for h1 first so if we solve this question for h1 first so we need we don't need this value we don't need uh, this value so what we need we need x i and x i we have at 0 0.5 x i minus 1 will be 0 0.5 minus h1 which is 0 0.5 you can just put this cell here for example this is should be equal to 5 minus 0 0.5 okay and this will be equal to 0 0.5 plus h1 okay so now we have uh, fxi fx i minus 1 fxi plus 1 uh, the same expression that we have done before so how we can calculate the first derivative here we have to use the equation uh, th this equation so fxi minus fxi plus 1 minus fxi minus 1 divided by 2 h1 2 times h1 so this is like minus 1 is the answer so and this is the true error the same thing now we are going to do for uh, for h2 let's see for h2 now for h2 troll c okay i do it here control v so th these are the values for h2 but here now we should have uh, 0 0.5 okay and then this value will be equal to 0 0.5 minus h2 and this value will be equal to 0 0.5 plus h2 0 0.75 so now we have this and then we can calculate the um, this is actually the central difference approach okay now we can calculate the first derivative using the this equation okay so what is that for example this is equal to uh, divided by 2 into h2 okay so this is 0 0.93 and this is the true error so this is the uh, same uh, procedure but now we have done for h2 
okay so this is uh, the values for h2 these are the values for h1 and then we have used the central difference approach now use the richardson and extrapolation interpolation okay so let's use richardson extrapolation and what is that this is actually uh, this equation so now we can calculate the first derivative by this expression so the richardson extrapolation how we can calculate the derivative the accurate derivative by this expression that is equal to 4 over 3 times this for interval h2 minus 1 over 3 times for interval h1 okay so this is how we get the answer so let's calculate the true error so if you see the true error again it's very very less and even it's even if you go and you go up to the 10 digits you will find that still the error is zero so this is how we can use the Richardson extrapolation in order to uh, differentiate the complex uh, or the algebraic functions to find out the accurate values so this is now your choice whichever method you want to use you can go for that both methods will give you uh, accurate values compared to the chapter 4 where we have just studied the uh, less accurate methods or finding out the derivatives with the other series with using less number of terms so if you have any question you can give me an email you can give me an uh, an email and as well uh, you can give me a call or you can just write your comment over there so thanks for your watching have a good day bye bye